Dear child of God, the God that you serve, the Lord of heaven, he has a strong host. Dear child of God, he has those angels that will stand for you and give you victory. And I want you to know that your rock would not be defeated. Your God cannot be defeated and it would make sure you cannot be defeated in Jesus mighty name. David was praying. He said, who is a strong God like unto thee? And this was how he began to have victories. Knowing that the Lord is strong and the Lord sent his host. He sent his angels to fight for him and bring him victories. Dear child of God, I want to assure you this day, the Lord will fight for you and he will bring you victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will beat every of the enemies down. Those who wanted to fight against you, those who had planned that you were going to be destroyed, God will beat them all down in Jesus' mighty name. You see, the psalmist prayed in Psalms 35 verse 5. He said, Let them be like dust from the grain before the wind. Let the angel of the Lord send them in flight. Then he said, let their way be dark and full of danger. Let them be troubled by the angel of the Lord. Today, the strong angel of the Lord assigned to your life, assigned to your family, would make sure those enemies, those haters, those people who said you were going to suffer, they are all going to be troubled. They would be troubled by your angel in the mighty name of jesus he says let them be troubled by the angel of the lord and this is how they would be overcome dear child of god this is how god will give you victories in the mighty name of jesus christ he said let them be overcome and put to shame who make attempts to take my soul david was praying he said let them be put to shame because they attempted to take my soul he sent the angels assigned to his life to go fight for him and he made sure every one of them were destroyed. He says, let those who would do me damage be turned back and made foolish. My God, he says, let them be turned back and made foolish. I want to assure you this day, dear child of God, they would be turned back from you. They would all be made foolish. In the mighty name of Jesus, they would fall for your sake. Those who had said you will not know peace in your life, those who were standing against you, those who were fighting against you without a cause, you are wondering, what did I do against them? What did I do to them that they hate me this way today? Just pray like David prayed and say, Lord, please go all out to fight for me. Let those who wanted to destroy me be damaged. Let them be turned back and made foolish. You see, he prayed and that was how the wisdom of Ahithophel was turned to foolishness. And God made sure he sent his angels and put them to flight. All those who wanted to destroy him, every one of them began to fall for his sake. Dear child of God today, the angels of God assigned to your life will begin to trouble your troublers. In the mighty name of Jesus, you would make sure their path is dark. Yes, every one of them will fall into the danger that they had made for you. Yes, the things that they had set up to destroy your life, it will turn back and destroy each and every one of them, except they repent, except they turn from their evil ways. If they refuse their child of God, every of their evil intentions would be taken over by them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, let them be like dust from the grain before the wind. Let the angel of the Lord send them in flight. And every one of them will be put to flight in the mighty name of Jesus. God will shoot his arrows through his angels against each and every one of them. And they would be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. He says, cast forth lightning. And scatter them. Psalms 144 verse 6. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. Dear child of God, the Lord will send his angel. The Lord will send the host of heaven. Yahweh's Hamis, who are bearing the shield of destruction. Who are bearing the rod of punishment. 
to fight against your enemies, to stand against those who wanted to confront your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, lightning will be sent forth. They will be scattered. They will be shot and brought down. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will be beaten into pieces. They will be beaten down. In Jesus' mighty name, says, scatter them by the power and bring them down. O Lord, our shield, through his angels, the child of God, the Lord will bring them down. Those enemies who wanted to exact upon you their wickedness, who wanted to afflict you, they would all be silenced because the Lord will send his angels. Yes, the righteous judges who would make sure the verdict of the Lord is carried out in the mighty name of Jesus. And when the Lord says that no one that rises up against you would ever succeed, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said he will fight against those that contend against you. He would make sure they are brought down. So be rest assured of this, dear child of God. The strong God of heaven would make sure no enemy would ever combat against you and succeed anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. They would be brought down before you in Jesus' mighty name. They will know that you serve the mighty God, the God that cannot be defeated, the God that brings victories to his children in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, let them be as chaff before the wind, my God. You see, this is the word of God. He says, let them be like chaff before the wind. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Dear child of God, every of your pursuers, every of your troublers today, they would be chased by the angels of God assigned to your life, assigned to your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't care how long they have been fighting against you. Today it will cease. They will be confounded. Everyone that troubled you, their child of God, they will be put to shame. Today God will make sure the storms that they had planned against you would return back to them because the angel of the Lord is defending you. Is defending your righteous cause in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, it says there was war and your angel is going out to fight. It's going out to fight against the dragon. It's going out to fight against the demonic gang up against your life. Dear child of God, the angels are going out today to fight for you and you will have the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter their number. It doesn't matter those who are against you. Today, the Lord will send the assistance that you need to make war on your behalf. He said that you don't need to fight in this battle. You would watch and see the salvation of the Lord. You will see how the Lord will bring you victory. And this will cause your heart to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. You will know that the Lord is for you. Dear child of God, you will know that the Lord is going all out to establish your victory in Jesus' mighty name. It doesn't matter how long they may have been standing against you. Today, you will see a turnaround. You will see a turnaround victory in Jesus' mighty name. The word of God in Daniel 10 verse 21 says, But I am going back to make war with the angel of Pesia. And when I am gone, the angel of Greece will come. And there is no one on my side against this but Michael, your angel. Dear child of God, I want you to know that your angels are alert. They are ready to go all out for you. They are ready to stand for you. They are ready to fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemies may be rising in their numbers, but your angels will be there to assist you. Your angels will be there to defend you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And everyone who had risen up against you, dear child of God, they would be brought down. They would be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. They may have bragged. They may have said words that caused your heart to be heavy. But trust in God. Trust in the God that transforms situation. Trust in the God that said victory is yours. Trust in the God that says that you are more than a conqueror and you would have victories. In the mighty name of Jesus, you may have been buffeted. Dear child of God, they may have fought you from every side, but you will not be down in the mighty name of Jesus because you will see your angels rising up on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will see the mantle of God come upon you. This will establish your victory 
in Jesus mighty name it came to a point in time the word of God said in 2nd Kings 19 verse 35 that it came to pass that night the angel of the Lord went out I want to assure you today dear child of God the angel of God is going out on your behalf today in the mighty name of Jesus he says the angel of the Lord went out and smote on the camp of the Assyrians and hundred four score and five thousand and when they arose early in the morning behold they were all dead corpses today those who had fought against you those who had said you will not see victory those who had said they will sniff life from you dear child of God those who had made threats threats against your life today God will send your angel the angels that are meant to defend you the angels that are meant to fight for you the angels that are meant to assist you and you will see victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ do not be afraid because today the captain of the Lord's army is coming to your rescue the captain of the Lord's army went to Joshua and said to him in Joshua 5 verse 14 no but I have come as a captain of the armies of the Lord then Joshua fell down with his face to the earth in worship today the angel of the Lord the captain of the Lord's army will come to you saying to you today your victory is guaranteed they will say to you your victory is assured in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord will strengthen you he will strengthen you to make war and you will see that victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you may have been down in health today you will see the Lord raise you up you will see the assistance of the angels that you have been praying for in the mighty name of Jesus Christ dear child of God I want you to know that sometimes they are unseen battles they are battles you do not know of sometimes they are enemies there are enemies everywhere that you are not aware of but your angels are aware the things that your natural eyes cannot see dear child of God the Lord had established your angels and placed them in positions where they can see and they will combat the enemies those enemies that wanted to bring you down those who had been manipulating you secretly God will raise your angels to fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus you would be highly protected and defended in the mighty name of Jesus those who are waiting to relay you on your path dear child of God those enemies that are wanting to destroy you unknowingly without your knowledge today God will raise your angels and stop them before they ever get to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you may not be aware dear child of God there are some battles the Lord had fought for you that you were not aware of your angels were there to rescue you your angels were there to help you and this is how the Lord will fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus the angels are assigned to your life the angels are assigned to your family the angels are assigned to your children they will be in position to keep you safe in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and even the devil knows it this is why he will not go beyond his territories because he knows that the Lord has placed your angels to save you to help you to fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus he said he will give his angels charge over thee dear child of God this is what the Lord says he says he will give his angel charge over thee to keep you in all of your ways they will bear you up in their hands the angels will hold you dear child of God they would uphold you until you have the victories in the mighty name of Jesus they would make sure that you will not be a casualty in Jesus mighty name they would help you they would preserve you they would make sure you do not dash your foot against the stone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ dear child of God those arrows that may have been sent towards your direction to destroy you to bring you down they had been jealous dear child of God they had been wanting to bring you down by every means possible because your progress was intimidating to them but today you will see the mighty God arise for you through your angels and you will be defended in the mighty name of Jesus he says he will keep you in all of your ways and no evil will befall you he says no disaster 
will come near your dwelling. He says they will send your angels before you. Your angels will go long before you to make the way straight, to clear the path for you. Dear child of God, you will see God through his angels clear the path for you, the path to your victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The reason you may have been crying in the past, today God will lift every things off from your life in the mighty name of Jesus and you would raise your head up high again in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, they wanted you to be buried, but today the angel of the Lord's army will come lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus and supernaturally, my God, supernaturally, dear child of God, you will have the victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will not allow their evil plans to succeed against your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who had made you to cry in the past, dear child of God, today, their evil, their wicked plans, every of their wicked intentions against your life has ended. Has ended and never would it arise again against you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is settling the matter, the matter concerning your life, the matters concerning your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, you will laugh again because victory is yours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, and it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out. Today, the angel of the Lord will go out on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. And any angel of death that is coming around your life, that is coming around your family to cause havoc today, the angel of the Lord will stop it, will stop the attacks of the enemies and they will not be able to succeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter where they are coming from. The Lord will stop them through your angels in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The angel said to Daniel, but I'm going back to make war with the angel of Persia. This is what the Lord wants you to know. Whatever demonic angel in your territory, yes, the evil angels fighting against you today, God will send your angels. The angels of the Lord will go all out for you and will bring them down. Every of those territorial demons fighting against you, God will send your angels to bring them down in the mighty name of Jesus. You would raise your head in victory knowing that the Lord has settled you in Jesus' mighty name. You'll be satisfied on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And remember, the Son of Righteousness, the God of Heaven, the God that gives grace and glory, He said He will not withhold anything from you, any good thing, and He's rising on your behalf with power, with strength, with might, and with blessings in His wings. All that the angels are supposed to bear forth, dear child of God, you would receive them in the mighty name of Jesus. The good tidings that the angels deliver to God's people, you would get in the mighty name of Jesus, and these will cause your joy to be full in Jesus' mighty name. Rest your mind in God because the victory is yours and you cannot be defeated. You cannot be buried. Yet, child of God, you cannot be put to shame. Amen. Everyone who had decided to bring you down, they would be smitten by the angel of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God in Act 12 verse 23 says, And immediately, my God, it says, And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him. Dear child of God, those ones who are fighting against you, who are making sure they are belittling your God, saying that your God cannot defend you. Dear child of God, they will be smitten. They will be brought down in the mighty name of Jesus. The moment they are saying those words, they will be brought down in the mighty name of Jesus, like God did against the Assyrian armies, who are stood against the people of the Lord, who are stood against Hezekiah. So will the Lord do against your enemies, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Herod stood against God's people, and immediately the word of God says, the angel smote him, and he was brought down. Dear child of God, today they will be brought down for your sake, 
in the mighty name of Jesus and they will realize that no one can ever rise up against you. They will realize that no one can ever fight against you and survive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will make sure they will begin to get the punishment in full. He will bring the evil upon their lives that they had intended against you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stand your ground and ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to assist you. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, the Lord through his host will assist you in the mighty name of Jesus. And it would ensure that you have the victory in Jesus' mighty name. You cannot be defeated in Jesus' name. So get set to testify because the Lord is bringing you victories. And every of those who wanted to afflict you, every of your pursuers, they will be chased by the angels of God assigned to your life. Every one of them who wanted to trouble you, dear child of God, they will be smitten, they will be broken down in the mighty name of Jesus. Every one of them, they will be quenched in Jesus' mighty name. And they will know that no one can ever fight against you ever again in Jesus' name. Just ask the Lord, please help me. Through your armies, help me defend my cause, protect my family, and see that I have victories. And I want to assure you, you would have victories in Jesus' mighty name. You cannot be defeated. And you would have every reason to glorify the name of the Lord for doing you well, for protecting you, and keeping you safe in Him, in Jesus' mighty name. Go forth, because you will rejoice. Go forth, because you will testify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.